Alright guys, this is 1990 Monsoon here, and I cannot figure out how to do a live commentary straight from my computer, so I'm just using my webcam, and I'm trying to, trying to keep it as steady as possible, so if any of you do happen to know how to do live commentary, I'd like you to post that in the comments, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to single player, um, let's do set up game. Um, let's do map type, continent, it's good, standard, chief chain. I'm going to do settler, which is the easiest, for all you noobs. This is like the first difficulty and the easiest. And if you can see, I'm going to try to zoom in there. It goes from settler, chief chain, warlord, prince, king, emperor, immortal, and I believe deity, which is pretty much god mode. Um, so there's that, and then there's game pace, this is best at standard unless you're one of those guys who like, like really, really long games, and I, I just like to get straight to the action. There's the characters, the characters are different from Civ 4, they're um, a little bit mixed up, some were added, some were taken away. Um, I like, it's not as much of a, as a variety because, I mean there's only like 17, 17, 18, different characters. So you have random, and I'm going to go ahead and read them out, the ones I can pronounce. There's Washington for America, Harun al-Rashid for Arabia, Montezuma the Aztecs, Wu Ziatin, China, Ramses II for Egypt, Elizabeth for England, Napoleon for France, Bismarck for Germany, Alexander for Greece, Gandhi for India, Hawaiatha for the Iroquis, Oda Nabunaga, I guess, for Japan, Darius I for Persia, Augustus Caesar, whoop, for Rome, sorry, Catherine for Russia, um, I personally think it's either Catherine, Augustus, or Washington, they're the best characters, because their bonuses are good, and then over here they have bonus units, like this one's, uh, Cossack, this is the Crestpot, and they're all the same thing. Like, Crestpot is for barracks, I believe, and instead of just giving you the regular barracks bonuses, which is 15 for X XP for all land units, this gives you plus 50% discount on border expansion, so that's good. And then there's the Cossack, which bonuses. It replaces Horseman, I believe. Then there's, I can't even begin to pronounce that. It's like Ram Kaham Hanga for Siam. Um, there's Askia for Songhai. Genghis Khan for Mongolia. That's it. That's not a lot you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Catherine, which you can't, probably can't see it, but it says Siberian Riches. Strategic resources provide plus one extra production, which is good. And horse, iron, and uranium resources provide double quantity. So that's good. Um, so let's go ahead and pick Catherine, zoom out, um, look at, yeah, look at all that, man, that's pretty awesome, I'm gonna be beast. Alright, so there's um, an option down here called Advanced Setup, that's if you really like to get in detail, um, I'll show you it. Um, there's your eight teams, you can add more, but it's eight teams depending on how large your, um, map size is. And there's city states. City states, it doesn't matter what, like, land size you get. You can do all the way up to, I believe, zero city states. All the way up to 24. I'm gonna, or 28, sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and do 6, 15. That's good. Then there's map size. Those are all the things down to here. There's game pace. These are pretty much all on the pop-up screen, the basic setup. There's some rainfall, temperature, sea level resources. Um, resource, this is, um, standard is good because if you do abundant, it's not only going to affect you, but your opponents. So that's, and there's five victories. There's time, science, domination, cultural, and diplomatic. And there's also the Utopia Project. And that is an automatic cultural victory. And you have to have, I'll get into that later. And there's advanced game options. Um, for this video, I'm going to go ahead and do no barbarians, so we don't get distracted. Alright, and I think that's it. So let's start the game. Greetings, 
upon thee, your Imperial Majesty Catherine, wondrous Empress of all the Russian. At your command lies the largest country in the world. Mighty Russia stretches from the Pacific Ocean in the east, the Baltic Sea in the west. Despite wars, droughts, and every manner of disaster, the heroic Russian people survive and prosper. Their artists and scientists are among the best in the world. The Empire today remains one of the strongest ever seen in human history. A true superpower. She's ugly. With the greatest Sorry. destructive force ever devised at her command. Catherine, your people look to you to bring forth glorious days for Russia and her people. To revitalize the land and recapture the wonder of the Enlightenment. Will you lead your people once more into greatness? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? All right, so you probably can't read that, but it's um, it's like a little. It's introduction. Um, he sucks up to you. Um, there's your little bonus I read to you. Cossack, Crestpop. Um, he pretty much explains what happened to your empire throughout the years, and down here, that second paragraph right there. There we go. Now it's ready. Um. My computer, I have to do on DX9, because, I don't know, it just doesn't work on DX10 or 11, so, um, this is the start page. Mine took a little bit longer than other computers, because mine's not a gaming computer, um, so, there's that. Begin your journey. Very enthusiastic. Alright, let's begin our journey. Now, um, for this video, I'm not going to get too, I'm not going to start setting up cities. I'm just going to go over the basics, um, and pretty much go over whatever control, whatever, whatever control does. So down here, you have toggle map, menu on off. Let's click that, I have no idea, oh, there it is. Those are your little options. And then down here, this is, um, strategic view. I call it baby view, because it's for noobs who don't know anything. Look at that. That is so dumb. It, you, and, like, when you battle, you don't see the battle. It just automatically does it. So, you can't see the people. All that is that little tab. You can't see cities. They're all the same thing no matter what era. Um, it's kind of better if you have a really sucky computer. And in this, it doesn't lag at all. So, it has a very low frame rate requirement. Because, I mean, there's no battles and there's no moving. It's just a little... Oh, here we go. Found a city. This is your economic advisor, and there's four advisors, and I'll show you that in a second. Down here, this is, um, it'll, they'll do this for all, there's foreign advisor, economic advisor, military advisor, and science advisor. And they'll all have stuff like this when certain things happen. And then down here are usually three related questions to what, like, what are cities, how can I found more cities, where should city be founded. And so there's find settler, and it's obviously right there. So, um, thank you, I don't really care. Alright, so there's this, this is like, if you're like, say over here, and you want to find the unit, it automatically zooms in on it. And that's good if you have a really large empire, and you're like all the way up here, you just click that, and it automatically zooms in. So you can see I got some, what's that, marble? Sweet, marble. That's good, that's a luxury. Um, I got spices more spices, so I'm going to get off this because this is really sucky. Alright, here you go. Um, you can see there's Settler, and you start out with a Warrior. And, look, guys, okay, I've been really curious, what is that red spot? That comes up on some, but not all tiles. And there's one over here, too. And I would really like someone to put in the comments what the heck that is. Because I thought it was like, like there was a battle there, but I guess not, and so... I would like someone to explain that to me because I'm really clueless on that. Over here you have a sidebar for your units. There's, it's usually attack, move mode, do nothing. It's pretty much skip a turn. Alert, which is fortify, but it pops up. It's different than fortify because in fortify, you stay fortified until you select them. But in alert, they pop up whenever they see an enemy. Then there's, this is like the extend options tab. And here's more. It's hi it hides them. Fortify, explore, and then delete, which I'm not going to delete my first warrior. Down there it says movement and strength. And for um, 
ranged units, it'll have movement strength and ranged attack, and it'll show you the range strength. But this isn't a ranged unit, like an archer or a trebuchet or a catapult. That would be something. Now here's a little map down here, and up here you have your diplomacy. Your um, this is your like advisors tab. I'll show you that. See, like I was saying, there's your economic, foreign, science, and military. And see, like there's little things like right here. One out of one. Blah 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 blah. And then they'll have like four or five, and you can click through them to see how to improve your civilization. Like for your military guy, you listen to him. But you also want to listen to the economic. The economic is the most important because you can't expand if you don't have any money. So that's good. Close. Here's like the map. Um, I know when um I was playing on a friend's computer, and he has clouds. And if you're wondering why there's no clouds and it's just black, it's because Steam had an update, and they changed it from clouds to just black. I like the black better, because the clouds, they lowered your, they rose your frame rate, and if your frame rate wasn't very good, then it would start to lag a lot. Um, over here, I don't have anything yet. This is the, you can see the science, the research info, unit, the unit list. And then there's the city list. So that's good if you want to have different, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, I can't think of a word, um, views of your civilization. So that's that, and this is pretty much the basics. That's all I showed you. Um, I'm not, I don't want to start, because if I start, I'm going to go over. So this is it for this time. This is 1990 Monsoon out. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you next time.